So I won't, you know, I, I, I go back and forth sometimes on the idea of moral victories. And, and I know we mock that phrase. And, and I do too, because I mean, a loss is a loss and a win is a win. And never the twain shall meet or never the two shall meet. And Pitt's loss to Miami on Tuesday night, 65, 63 on the road was a loss. Nothing more, nothing less. It's how it's going down uh, in recorded history uh, as a loss. And it's a disappointing loss because Pitt needed a win in this stretch. They they needed to, to cobble together a couple more wins as they go down uh, this, this home stretch of the season. And especially one on the road against a good team. And they had it. Or at least they had a chance to go to overtime. And it was kind of disheartening and a gut-wrenching way to lose. And you lose that rebound. And Angel Rodriguez out-rebounds Mike Young and scores the basket to win the game and, and all that. It's tough because it could have been such a big win. And, and you saw how close they were to pulling, it, to pulling it off. But let's be honest here. If I had talked to you on Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday morning or on Monday about what you expected to happen when Pitt played at Miami on Tuesday night, I think you and I both would expect it to be a beating because they just got smacked at home by Virginia by 14 points. Now, I know Virginia is a really good team, but you lost by 14 at home. And I think you and I probably both expected more of the same when Pitt went down to Miami, but it didn't happen. It didn't. Instead, what happened is Pitt, this Pitt team, sometimes playing with only one starter on the floor, went toe-to-toe with the number 12 team in the country, number 11 in the RPI, number three team in the ACC, took them down to the wire with, and really didn't get great performances from their two best players and still took the number 12 team in the country to the wire on the road. Now, I'm not celebrating a loss. I don't think you should celebrate a loss. But given the alternative and really given the expectation of what you thought was going to happen, Tuesday night's loss wasn't the worst possible outcome.